Here we have a Dell Alienware laptop that came in for no power. We already have the motherboard disassembled. And right off the bat, I see burn marks at the V-Core circuit, a very common issue with Dell Alienwares. And anytime I see burn marks in this area, it's likely going to be a no fix. I have worked on a lot of Dell Alienwares, and I have a lot of videos on the channel where even after removing the short, replacing the burnt components, the DR MOSFETs, the CPU ends up being the problem where the laptop would power on for a few seconds or the fans would spin for a second or two and then goes off as a result of a CPU related issue. So this one could be the same. Just look up Dell Alienware on our YouTube channel and you'll see every single one of them has the same issue. And it's obvious where the problem is. This one looks like it's the most burned, so possibly a bad coil and the R MOSFET. When the coil heats up like this to a point where it changes color, we have to change that coil. The enameling will burn on that wire inside that loops and it will just be as one straight one block of wire without doing its job. So we have to replace the coil and we have to replace the DR MOSFET, assuming that those two are the problem. And just before we start the repair, I want to go over this 4090 that we got in. Today's Monday. We got this in on Friday. Customer came in locally and he said he want to fix his 4090. He bought it off somebody on Facebook. And I have a couple of videos talking about why you should not buy off marketplaces. I'm talking about this subject a lot. He did not test the card because he trusted the guy. He did not test the card. He bought a 4090 without testing the card. And he said he took the video card to two other repair shops and they were not able to fix his 4090. So he came here in hopes that we can fix it for him. And same old story. Missing GPU and missing memory chips. Memory chips and core are missing. He took it to two other repair shops and they told him it cannot be fixed. Who do you blame? Do you blame the customer? Do you blame the first repair shop? Do you blame the second repair shop? Or do you blame me for taking a card like this? I'm going to take a picture to let him know. We also got this Audi camera system. I never worked on one of those. It's an expensive unit for Audi vehicles. A camera I do not know where that camera goes and the guy said a common problem with those motherboards is that chip we need to reball that chip I do not have any stencils for that chip but we're gonna attempt to reball it with a standard universal stencil that we have maybe I'll go over it in another video we also have this Hyundai Hyundai whatever you call it key fob that came in for repair how much is that key fob how much is it to get another fob like this I do not work on those fobs because they are cheap to get. Maybe $150 will get you a new fob. Whereas working on a Mercedes-Benz key fob, it usually costs between $800 to $1,200 from a dealership. We already have the fob here. We'll see if we're going to work on it. And I also have something else on my bench. And all those stuff, they are in for today. I have to work on them today. We have an MSI motherboard a daughter board and a motherboard here. I need to see what's going on, why the motherboard is not powering on, along with all the other stuff that we need to get done. Those are on the priority list right now. Let's go ahead and start with this Dell Alienware. And we're gonna sh look at this. It looks like work was done on this laptop before. I see signs of flux. I see signs of solder. So not only that V-Core is burned, but it looks like somebody else attempted to work on it. Somebody attempted to solder a wire to ground. Somebody attempted to solder possibly a wire here at the current sense resistor. None of this is needed. But everybody is an expert these days. I do not know what else is going on with the board. I do not know what other surprises we're going to get, 
by visually inspecting this board. Flip the board, look on the back. Why are you going too fast? I'm not going too fast, it's that you are too slow. Okay, so nothing is going on on back of the board. Let's focus on the front. And if we measure here, I mean, it's obvious that we're going to have a short. And the short, 99.9%, is because of this DR MOSFET that we see under the burnt inductor. I do not even need to measure. Let's go ahead and remove both. So there's no reason to inject voltage or monitor the board under a thermal camera because the fault is obvious. Why waste time, right? Oh man, that smell. Let me get this board as close to the fume extractor as possible. I mean, this inductor is broken. And it may have fused itself to the motherboard, to the top layer. I'm not able to remove the bottom part of the inductor. We're gonna have to be patient. Okay. Let me grab a donor board quick. I have exactly the same one here. And if you look, I already removed a DR MOSFET and inductor for a previous repair. And we're gonna do the same thing here. Thank you very much, donor board. We do not need your assistance anymore. And we're gonna go back here to the customer's board. And before I turn the anti-glare light on, let me just put this inductor. I do not have three hands. Just waiting for solder to liquefy. And then we can go like this. And we are done. This laptop will either work or not work based on my experience working on this very same model. Now the customer brought in two laptops. He brought in an Acer laptop and a Dell Alienware. The Acer laptop, I believe it's a charging port issue. No voltage is going inside. So I did order another charging connector and Hopefully that fixes the problem. I did not see any shorts anywhere on the board and the connector is just not getting 19 volts in. Connector looks good. And I'm hoping that we can fix at least one of those two laptops for the customer. Rather than tell the customer both of them are a no fix.
but what can you do? What's up, man? Just a minute. What's up, buddy? How are you? Yeah, Let me guess, EVGA? Yeah. No way. Yeah. <laughs> I'm good at this. Does the computer turn on when you have this plugged in? Yes. Okay, do you see fan spin, lights? No. Okay. I see because mm, you either see it or you don't? No. Okay, no. Mm -mm. Red light, right? Yeah, red okay. light. See, when the customer comes in, I know exactly what they have, brand, <laughs> everything. <laughs> I'm hoping. The customer brought in an EVGA 3090, and I guessed it from when he came in. He said, I have a 3090. I said, is it EVGA? He said, yes. What, are you a psychic or something? So we are done. This laptop is done. I'm going to hand it over to Big Boss to reassemble and test. And... Hit and miss. Either this laptop will work or we're gonna have a CPU related issue where the CPU received more voltage than what it could handle and it killed itself. We'll see, I'll be back. We reassembled the laptop and just like I thought, just like I told you from the beginning, fans, they spin and they shut off, they spin, they shut off. Let me press on the power button so you can see. Fans, they spin, and then they stop. Now, if you look at the power button, you will see two red blinks and one blue blink. So if I press on the power button, it's going to blink two reds, one blue. Two red blinks and one blue. Now, if you go to the Dell website and you look up two red, one blue, right here, processor failure, CPU failed. Just like I told you from the beginning, before we even started working on that laptop, Dell Alienware's, when you have a vCore issue, like we did with this laptop, it's game over. Asus laptops, that's not the case. Video cards. We work on video cards every day where we have a 12 volt short. V core shorts out, but the processor or the core would still be good. On Dell Alienware's, V core fails, processor fails. I mean, it's nice that we still have light at the side of the screen, at the edge, at the logo, the power button, fans, they spin for a second and then back off, but that's about it. The laptop is paperweight. We gotta let the customer know. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think. Leave it down in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll do something else in the next video.